As the year comes to a close, we are taking a look at the state of the economy over the course of 2023. Live with us now is WHSV Washington correspondent Peter Zampa. Peter, the Biden administration has been touting low unemployment over the course of this year, but where do things stand right now? Yeah, well, to close out this year, we're at about 3.7% unemployment. Now, we'll get new numbers when we get to the new year, but right now, that is below that 4% target that a lot of economists in this administration have been looking at. And really throughout this year, we have remained below that 4% unemployment number, and the Biden administration has been happy to talk about that. That means joblessness is low in this country. We continue to add to payrolls. Just last month, nearly 200,000 more jobs added above expectations. So throughout the year, we've had these ups and downs when it comes to hiring, when it comes to unemployment, but for the most part, again, Staying below that 4% target is a huge goal for this administration. And it's something they've been able to achieve. And one area this administration has been criticized on is inflation. So what are the latest consumer price numbers and what is the expectation now heading into 2024? Yeah, that's right. Inflation has been the big boogeyman for this administration for most of it, the president's time in office. Right now, it is at one of the lowest points it's been really since the pandemic at 3.1%. Now, that is not quite to the goal of the Federal Reserve. They want to see this number get down to 2%, but 3.1% coming from where it was even last June, where it was up toward 9%, that's a huge achievement in this administration's eyes. So they continue to say, look, it's not where we want it yet. We still have work to do, but we are continuing to come down. And they acknowledge that, yes, they still need to, to, to move ahead with getting this under control, cooling off this economy. But the Federal Reserve uh, just this month made it clear that they're, put, they're, they're holding back on, on, uh, on cutting in, on raising interest rates any further. And there are some indications that next year we could see cuts to in, interest rates and multiple meetings. So only good news on the inflation front to close out this year. And overall on the economy, how is the Biden administration handling its messaging? Well, for the last few months, we've seen this administration really take its economic message on the road, touring around the country, talking about so-called Bidenomics. I know we've talked about this term a lot, but it is what the president is calling his economic vision. And he wants all Americans to hear it and to get on board with it because of some of these metrics we've been talking about. Inflation coming down, joblessness very low in this country. And he's calling that Bidenomics. He wants to take credit for everything that we are seeing in this country. And he's also doing it by pointing to legislation that has passed under his watch, like the Inflation Reduction Act or, or the bipartisan infrastructure bill is one is part of his really chief economic message because he can point to different manufacturing plants all around this country. Talk about how they're starting to build things again across America and point to all the jobs that have been created because of it. Now, they are trying to show every American that their economic message is working, but not every American is willing to hear it right now. And how are Republicans viewing the current state of the U.S. economy? Yeah, this is where it gets really interesting because it's for something so quantitative. You know, we see the numbers. We know how the economy is doing. Republicans have done a fantastic job of politicizing the economy. They have convinced voters everywhere that while inflation may be coming down, it's not good enough. That while we may have low unemployment numbers, it's not good enough in certain sectors. They have been able to convince Americans everywhere that the Biden administration is not doing what it needs to do to, to, to heat up this economy while also cooling it down. I mean, all of this dissonance we are seeing around the economic message because they point to big ticket legislation like the Infl Inflation Reduction Act. They talk about government spending and how it's ruining prices everywhere at the grocery store, at the gas pump, all of these things that matter to, to regular everyday Americans. They're trying to convince them that those prices are too high and they would be better under a Republican administration. So Republicans, every step of the way, have tried to politicize this and they plan on running on this in 2024, pointing at the Biden administration, saying they're not strong enough on this economy. Peter, thank you for your time today. Thanks for having me.